Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. Have you ever thought about the wonderful promises in the Word of God to the repentant and to those who were tempted? Today I want us to look at the promises of God for the repentant and for the tempted. We have looked at the divine promises of God to the humble, to the afflicted, to the poor, to the generous, to seekers after God, and to the Christian workers. My reason for sharing these promises of God to you over these last few days has been to motivate you to know that God has a specific promise for your specific problem. It does not matter how big the problem or situation, God is bigger than both. I think it is appropriate to end this series with repentance and the power of Christ to sustain in temptation. Of course, we know as Christians that God's promises are to the repentant, to those who are truly God's children. His love is for all mankind, but his promises are to those of his household. Just as we as parents give good gifts to our children, so the Heavenly Father desires to give good gifts to his children, us. First, the promise of forgiveness of all sins, of all of our sins, and the gift of the Holy Spirit is given to us when we repent. In Acts 2.38, Peter says, Repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repentance is necessary for receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. To be ushered into the very presence of God all starts with repentance and he promises us that our sins are forgiven when we repent. It does not matter, beloved, whether or not you feel forgiven. God's word states that we are forgiven when we repent of our sins. And not only are we forgiven, but we will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. What a gift. We have the promise of his closeness also when we are repentant. The Lord is, says is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. You know, repentance, beloved, should bring us to a brokenness before God. So that whatever it was that caused us to turn away from God or kept us from knowing God will never happen again because we are sorrowful over our sins. We also have the promise of times of refreshing when we are repentant. Acts 3.19 tells us to repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out and that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. There is nothing that should block us from the Lord, and sin will block us from the Lord. There will always be times we need to repent of certain sins, even when we are walking close with God. For we are human, and we fail, and we fall short of God's ideal. That is why we have Jesus. He is the ideal, and He, through His Holy Spirit, helps us to continually walk in forgiveness and cleansing. And there will always be times when we need the refreshing touch of Jesus Christ. Fourthly, when we repent or or help lead someone to repentance, there is much rejoicing in heaven. Luke says, I tell you that in the time in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety nine righteous persons who do not need to repent. God takes great delight when a sinner repents and comes home to him. If there is anyone hearing my voice today and you need Jesus, ask him to forgive you for all of your sins and to clean you from to cleanse you from all your unrighteousness and he will. That is his promise. After we have repented and come to Christ, there will be times of temptation. But thanks be unto God, his word is filled with precious and divine promises in various times of temptation. We have the promise of safety through Christ's intercession. As he prayed for Peter and said, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Remember, it is no sin to be tempted. It becomes sin when we yield to the temptation. But Christ is faithful and he has given us provision of a way of escape. 
First Corinthians tells us that no temptation has seized you except what is common to man. Means that every man and woman has been tempted, but God is faithful, and He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. That, beloved, is a great promise from God the Father when we are tempted. He gives us the faith through Jesus Christ to overcome all and every temptation. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636. Do you have five minutes for God? I'm Pastor Ed Wilson, and I believe there's no better way to begin each morning than spending a little time with Him. That's why every weekday morning I bring you a short devotional broadcast designed just for that. Look up God's five minutes wherever you get your podcast to kickstart your spiritual walk for each day. We'll always do it in five minutes or less. Have you talked to God today?